Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotional time. We are happy to see you on this Friday, and we hope that you will open your Bibles with us and spend time with us in God's Word together to start our day. So as you're waking up with Emily too, um, we invite you to turn to John chapter 12. And as we look at God's Word today, we are in the middle of uh, John's Gospel where it's actually um, at the end of Jesus' earthly life before he would be crucified. So, John chapter 12, beginning in verse 44. Here it says, Jesus cried out, The one who believes in me believes not in me, but in him who sent me. And the one who sees me sees him who sent me. I have come as light into the world so that everyone who believes in me would not remain in darkness. If anyone hears my word and doesn't keep them, I do not judge them. For I did not come to the world to judge the world, but to save the world. The one who rejects me and doesn't receive my sayings has this as his judge. The word I have spoken will judge him on the last day. For I have not spoken on my own, but the Father himself who sent me has given me a command to say everything I have said. I know that his command is eternal life. So the things that I speak, I speak just as the Father has told me. So here, is, as we consider this passage this morning, we see uh, Jesus is in Jerusalem. He explains here in, in summary form, in short form, uh, several things. One is that to believe in him is to believe in the Father. It is God himself. Uh, to see Jesus is to see the Father. That's, what, that's who he's referring to when he says, the one who sent me. Jesus was sent from the Father. And to, to believe in him is also to come out of darkness and into the light. Uh, Jesus is the light of the world. And uh, to come out, to, to believe in him means to receive his light. These obviously are, are important for several things. Um, starting with, the, with the, the idea Jesus and the Father are one. So insofar as Jesus speaks, insofar as Jesus calls us to believe, he's calling us to believe in God. Um, we know Jesus was one with the Father in every way. Jesus submitted himself, though, to the Father's will. Uh, Jesus was uh, subordinate, we would say, to the Father. The Son uh, was subordinate to the Father's command. He obeyed his Father's commands to come into the world. Uh, it was the Father's plan from before the creation of the world to redeem the world through his Son. And Jesus submitted himself to his Father's plan, his Father's will to rescue the sinner. He followed his Father's will to come and take on human flesh, uh, to teach us about the kingdom of God um, and its imminent reality. In, in Jesus, we see that, that the kingdom of God came in itself because Jesus is the king. And he came to rule on the earth. Uh, Jesus came when he died uh, to pay for the sins of the world so that we could live in his kingdom. Um, and when Jesus returns, the kingdom of God will come in its fullness. He will come to rule the earth perfectly in every way and rule as the judge of all the earth. And so as he's speaking these words, you know, he says, if anyone um, hears my word and doesn't keep them, I do not judge him, for I did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. He's speaking of his first coming. He came in this first coming to save the world through his death. But then he says, uh, the one who rejects me doesn't and doesn't receive my sayings has my sayings at his judge. The word I have spoken will judge him on the last day. 
So while we do recognize the mercy and the grace of God in his first coming, we will, uh, we will recognize also his holiness and righteousness and his uh, complete justice on the final day. Of course, we also see his justice and his satisfying the justice for our sin on the cross. Uh, but there will be a day when, when every uh, word that is spoken, every deed that is done, will be taken into account. And it will be either reckoned through the blood of the Son, Jesus, that is, the, the debt of our breaking his commands will have been paid through his Son, or it will be paid through our own death. That is, those who do not believe will have to pay for their own sins eternally. And we see also, as we consider the fact that Jesus and the Father are one, is that his commands carry the weight and the authority of Almighty God. And we see here, specifically, Jesus says his command is eternal life. Um, here, up until this point in the Gospel, Jesus performed seven signs to point us to believe that he is the Son of God. And to believe in him is to have eternal life. Um, so, this morning, as, as you consider these things, know that Jesus commands, his desire is that you would have eternal life, that you would experience that eternal life. You can experience today as you believe. As you believe in the Son, you will receive eternal life. I love John 5.24 explains it succinctly in this way. says, truly I tell you, anyone who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not come under judgment, but has passed from death to life. That is, if you already believed in Jesus, you already have eternal life. You have received the gift of eternal life. Um, and you will have it for eternity, uh, now and forever. That is the wonderful hope of the gospel, uh, is that that we, in Christ, our sins have been paid for. In Christ, we live now and forever. That physical death is but a doorway to the next life of life eternal. And so today, as you longing in your heart uh, to see God, look to Jesus. Uh, he desires to bring you out of the darkness of your sin, out of the darkness of death, and bring you into the light of his love eternally. Um, he desires for you to remain in his love by keeping his commands. Don't reject him. Uh, don't reject his word. Don't reject his command. You will have no basis for standing on that last day. Um, and so we come to, to Christ humbly today, desiring to walk in his light, des desiring to, to come out of the, the darkness that sin, sin brings into our life and to live um, in the light of his love. Uh, so would you pray with me this morning? Father in heaven, we thank you for your love. We thank you for Jesus and how you've demonstrated your love. Uh, Father, as we long for you this morning, we want to see you, and so we look to Jesus. Uh, we thank you for showing yourself to us in your Son. Uh, we thank you for sharing your commands with us and that your commands for us are good they are not burdensome but they are meant to lead us into life and life eternal so lord help us to walk in your commands as we trust you today and lord let us uh, sense your presence throughout this day as we serve you and lord uh, lead us to those who are perishing lead us to those who do not have this hope of eternal life that we can Share with them your command, your command of eternal life. Uh, let us call people to faith today, and Lord, may you rescue them by the power of your Holy Spirit. Um, and let us demonstrate your love in such a way uh, that, that it points people to you, to see uh, the wonderful love that you have for them. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, we hope that you have a wonderful day this morning. Emily and, and her favorite brown puppy.
thank you for joining us. Emily, did you have anything uh, that you wanted to say or maybe sing? Do. Hmm? Do. Do? Okay. Go ahead. Playlists. <laughs> what? Playlists. I can't understand you. Oh, the funny masks? I don't think we can get that to work after it's already started. <laughs> Let's see here. Nope, I don't think it works. Well, those are cool backgrounds. Let's see. 